Today, we get to take pieces of flat paper and turn them into springy puppets that can jump and dance around. We'll start by cutting out and drawing the main body of our puppet. You can make all kinds of creatures with this, but I'll just show you how to form a person. Once we have the head, body, hands, and feet, we need to make the happy springy arms and legs. Cut your construction paper into long straight strips. Now, if you just attach these flat and ordinary pieces to the puppet, well, it won't be a very joyous figure. But we're going to make foldable springs by laying two strips in opposite directions and gluing them at the corner. Then take turns folding the pieces one layer over another, back and forth, until they form a single spring. You can use some glue or tape to attach this as an arm or leg. Now, instead of just laying there, your puppet can move and bounce in whatever celebration you want. There's a story in the Bible about God's servant Daniel and Darius, the king of Babylon. Daniel loved and trusted God and prayed multiple times a day just so that he could praise God and ask for help. King Darius wanted to be loved and trusted more than anyone else, so he made it illegal to pray to any other king or God but him. But Daniel didn't stop praying to God, so he was taken and tossed into a den of lions. What did he do that night in the lion's den? Well, the same thing he did every night. He prayed, praising God and asking for help. The next morning, the king saw that Daniel was alive, that Daniel's God had kept him safe. The king was so excited that he quickly changed the law and told everyone to pray to Daniel's God. Now that joyful reaction may have been the king's response, but Daniel's response was once again to praise God and to be thankful for God's help. As we worship today, see what kind of dancing and jumping positions you can place your puppets in. As we give thanks to God with some dancing and jumping of our own.